Hello, I'm Akito9323, and today will be a battle talk. Essentially, I will be talking about the different information, about different facts and information about specific Digimon or a specific anti-specific Pokemon. Because, well, I was going to do it in my last video. Now. I've always hated the idea that Mega Evolution appeared in Pokemon. I mean, not a single one of them would be able to stand up to a real Mega level, which is off, uh, off of Digimon. They wouldn't be able to. The reason for that is, is that, for one, a trainer has to spend a long time getting a Pokemon to its final stage and as you've seen with some episodes if we were to go episode wise the uh, Pokemon sometimes don't want to evolve it's all about what the Pokemon wants in some ways although some people force their Pokemon to evolve Which, nah. but when you get to the whole point of Mega Evolution Mega Evolution is supposed to be something about a bond with your human and your Pokemon. That bond comes from the same idea as Digivolution in general. I mean, seriously, like every single Digimon series shows that their feelings, I mean that's what it's literally based off of, the uh, crests of the crests for one are a big show of that because it shows what's in the heart of the people that use it in Digimon. That's literally what the curses are about. Now, I was trying to think of a Digimon to, uh, and a Pokemon to fight against each other that were similar in some way. And I decided I would probably use one that I know quite well, uh, or at least, well, one of the original three. Uh, with that one, I think before I did a one with Charizard, Charmander, and stuff like that, all the way up with Ogre. Well, well, this time I've decided to go straight with two Mega levels. These two Mega levels are Mega Blastoise and Machine Dramon, mostly because they both have cannons. Now, some will think, oh, well, Mega Blastoise is a water type against a machine type, uh, against the machine Digimon, like, uh, machine Digimon, it won't do, it, it'll do really well. Well, that's not really true, for one, because a lot of machinery can be hit with water and be perfectly fine. The whole reason for it all is because of you know, things like overheating and stuff like that. In fact, it would actually work well against a Machine Dramon who has an ability which causes him to overheat after a few special attacks. If he was hit by a water attack after that, that would cool him down much faster and really help him out. Uh, Machine Dramon is, as we know from the first season, it uh, is what was one of the Dark Masters. Also, if it is, um, many names for it, if it was uh, fused with Chimeramon or Jogras, through, all through Jogras evolution, depending on what game or what setting you play it from, it will be, um, or DNA Digivolution, there's another one. It would, uh, Chimeramon and Machine Dramon would create uh, Millennium Mon, and Millennium Mon is a very dangerous, powerful Digimon. So, goes to say is Machine Dramon still has a form extra that it can go to afterwards. Of course, it needs another Digimon's help, but it still has that extra help. Because if we're going about it, we have really two against one. We've got a human telling a Pokemon what to do, and a Digimon going by itself. If anything, he can call for help if he wants. So, going to go by the whole part about it, and that is... Um, Mega Blastoise is essentially has three cannons on it. I mean, one big one on its back, which kind of makes it look more tank-like, 
uh, with the way that's positioned, and two on its side. If anything, it really became more tank-like in total. Uh, the extra ones could be more like machine guns or something like that, uh, depending on the types of tanks that you can get. Or fantasy tanks people have made, there are a lot of things you could really say. Uh, when I look at it though, I mean, it doesn't really seem all that powerful. I mean, I've not really, sp I haven't watched the series in a really long time and stuff like that, but I have never seen a Pokemon that has been able to go through specific feats of power, like break through buildings and stuff like that, except when I watched that uh, red OVA thing, uh, which was like the start of Mega Revolution or something like that, because it had uh, Charizard going through the entire settings up to Mewtwo. But yeah. Uh, Not uh, really, you see them destroy part of a wall, but that's like a wall. Their severely outclassed Pokemon are, in general, Mega Blastoise. I mean, he could maybe punch a hole through uh, proofing through this, a, a building, something like that. But Machine Drummon, on the other hand, could just annihilate the entire building and the street after it. Because that's how powerful his cannons are. I mean, that that's what I find funny is people try to say, "Oh, Pokemon will be better than Digimon," and I'm thinking, how? If I was to set up a fight, any fight between them and that, I mean, you'd have to have them the same thing and that. I mean, if you were to put it into uh, specs and stuff like that, it would have to be. Basic against Rookie, and then Stage 1 against Champion, Stage 2 against Ultimate, and Mega, if they have a Mega, against Mega level Digimon. And I could just as easily go higher with some of them, just to be cruel. Because why not? Digimon have that extra advantage by the fact is that they use the information that we have in this world from our internet that's leaked into theirs through the fact of uh, through it uh, because we've created our own space which is like the connection between the two worlds that's the whole idea behind it and that information has leaked into digimon who were rather basic in appearance and certain ones have selected certain parts and that's become what they are now Still do not like Doggymon. That's the one Digimon I dislike. It's more of a sports mascot than an actual Digimon. That's what I see about it. And a lot of Digimon I've seen people create. I mean, there's, it's just weird, especially for the Cross Wars ones. A couple of Digimon were created for that, and it was like, ugh, no. Some of those Digimon are just no go. Uh, but in the fight between Machindramon and Mega Blastoise, I would say it would not last very long for the whole part about it is um, they have Pokemon have like a stuff like that, like Growl whatever that can debuff other Pokemon, but I'm not sure how effective it would be on a Digimon. I think it would just look at it like Oh wow, you growled here. Let me do this instead. Uh, just the overall fight would really be really short. I mean, Mega Blastoise could use its strongest water attack uh, that it, or strongest attack that it can learn. And if it was to clash against Machine Drummond's special attack, Infinity Cannon, it would likely f not do very well. Infinity Cannon, supposedly, is supposed to have power rivaling that of nuclear weaponry. Uh, I can't remember how powerful, but I do know that Chaos Drummond, his higher form, as some people have put it, I think it's like a, it's supposed to be a um, super ultimate, which by Japanese standards and that, it was child, adult, 
um, perfect, then ultimate. So ultimate was originally mega, but then when it was changed over, I think it was through America, they made it as rookie to mega, and then super ultimate was this confusing thing. Because they didn't really think about it, because super mega doesn't really sound very good unless you're uh, on a bridge series. I think some of you will get that reference. Uh, uh, the funny thing about uh, Infinity Cannon is that if Blastoise switch looks rather slow compared to it, I mean, seriously, it's built like a tank. It probably it has higher defense and boost with attack, but I highly doubt it'll have anything that will boost its speed unless you use an item, but I don't think an item like a focus sash or something that will keep its hit or, or, or something else like an jaw, like an attack, will keep its health to one when it's being hit with a power similar to a nuclear device or more, like ten times the power of a nuclear device and a cannon. Essentially, the uh, machine drum could probably wipe out an entire city on his own with just one single attack. And in games, you can play around with that just by using Infinity Cannon. And it hits one or all, depending on the game, or just one. I don't really have machine drum on, so it doesn't appear in a lot of games. And the ones that it does, its attacks do different things, like it'll either attack a certain amount of squares or it'll attack. Uh, hit a certain amount of Digimon, or I just hit one. It's just funny that uh, such a powerful attack that would cause a lot of trouble in the real world and the digital world does nothing at all, because that just shows how powerful the world itself is there. Even if uh, Digimon was to go over into the Pokemon world, it has massive advantages I doubt a legendary Pokemon would do have much against it. I mean, Dialga with its uh, roar of time, I'm not really sure. I mean, that's like time itself, but Infinity Cannon has infinity in it, which essentially means it's constant. So, would that do, to keep going? Uh, on that, that would roar of time against Infinity Cannon? Would they? Just be at it forever, or would Machine Drummond still win? Well, in my opinion, Machine Drummond would still win for the whole part of, in terms of sheer power, it is, well, it has the advantage. Uh, I mean, the funniest part is I could say is, is that, um, Dialga could be beaten by a champion level Digimon, Clockmon, by using Kronos Breaker. It could, uh, Clockmon could stop time. Wow, yeah, exactly. Champion levels have that ability where you have to have a legendary Pokemon that can travel through time. Uh, that's really what I'm going to say with the whole part of in a fight between Mega Blastoise and Machine Drummond. Uh, not only that is, I believe Machine Drummond is also um, a Thunder attribute, which means that he also has a type advantage over Mega Blastoise, which means not only is Infinity Cannon equal in power to nuclear devices, is that it also is a, a Thunder attribute, which means if it hits, it's going to do a lot of damage, and if it's equal to 1 or 10 nuclear devices, and that was attributed into the power of a thunder bolt or a, or a lightning bolt, really, I should say, because I'm not a failed translation, as we find out. I found out about in some Pokemon names, attacks uh, names. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, a lightning bolt imbued with the power of well, ten. One or ten nuclear devices, I don't think Mega Blastoise could survive that even using Protect. Because that's a stupid move that protects everything. Digimon don't need a move like Protect because, well, they have either body armament or 
they have something that they can use, like a shield, but it's not a perfect defense, unless they, it's made out to be, and some of them even have weapons on their shields, like Gallant Martin, who can fire a beam off of his shield. Uh, Pokemon just have one of those things that it's just like, well, that's, unless I have a specific move to fight against somebody that uses Protect, I can't do anything, which means I only have to use Faint or wait till the next turn and hope that it was Protect again, or if they do, it fails. Because Protect, the more times you use it, it fails. <laughs> which I think is a good idea that they put on it, but the fact is that people use this or use like these weird tactics. <sighs> yeah. In a fight, uh, Mashudramon will win no matter what. It can't beat, uh, be beaten, I mean, it can't be beaten by Mega Blastoise, and Mega Blastoise cannot beat, which I think was what I was going through with that uh, a bit a second ago, is uh, cannot defeat Machine Drummond. Machine Drummond is completely, uh, well, overpowered compared to Mega Blastoise, because, uh, that, that's the whole idea behind it. Digimon are built to be the best, the fact that they go through individual forms and gain individual powers from it, and that is the whole part that makes them stronger. That is why I like Digimon so much more than Pokemon, to be honest. I mean, I'm not going to let that get into my views by it and that. I mean, I've liked Digimon a lot, but I've played Pokemon games a lot more than I've played Digimon games. I mean, I've completed all the like the Pokédex and all sorts of every Pokémon game that I've ever played, and then started again after moving over some Pokémon that I have wanted to keep for specific reasons uh, that I like, and to a different game, and then starting again, and then sending them back over, leaving them in the box until I could use them. Uh, it's something I kind of did then, but I haven't played a Pokemon game in a while now, and I don't really watch the series. It just, the series just got amazingly repetitive. I mean, it's just essentially the same thing over and over. And uh, with a different outcome or a similar outcome. I mean, either he loses, uh, Ash loses at the end, and after all that, we just get to see him lose. That's... Oh, sorry about that. Yawning is a pain. Uh, that's what I kind of what well, reason why I stopped watching Pokemon. I mean, with Digimon, it's sad that the person's going to become a hero, but it builds on the character, uh, or the characters, and allows you to understand them more. But with Pokemon, you only like there is nothing more for ash to learn about his character we learned all of that from the first season of it uh we learned ev excuse me we learned everything we needed to know but we only started learning about other things from other characters that's it that's all we learned from pokemon is the backstories or the building build up of other characters and not the main one which I think is a bit of a weird way to go about it. But yeah, that's just a weird little rant for the end of me on that. Uh, in my opinion, compared to the difference in terms of power, speed, and overall defense, with having Chrome Digizoid for armor, Machine Drummond wins it by miles. Like, there is no competition there. It's going to win. I mean, just one Infinity Cannon will win the match. Because if it doesn't hit the, the Pokemon that it's against, if it doesn't hit Me Mega Blastoise, it's going to kill the trainer. <laughs> That's a definite fact. It will kill the trainer if it doesn't kill the Pokemon. And it'll probably destroy a lot more as well. So, uh, that's me for now. That's Actor 93, 23, signing out. Bye for now.